Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is Crystal High Queen. So today we are going to do a general collective reading. This is for 22nd of November 2021 Monday, but it will and it might resonate for you whenever you watch this video. Okay, so let's just jump right in. Um, I was channeling, you know, a, a balcony, like from a very high high floor of a building and a balcony from where you know a beautiful view is is available okay so it, it was kind of like a bird's view okay but it was a balcony of a very uh, on a very top floor of a building like a very high floor on a building and it was a beautiful scenery which was available to see from that balcony Okay, I was also hearing the song Frozen from Madonna. So it might resonate for some of you. Okay, it's just for some of you, not for everyone. So, okay, let's just jump right in. All right, so what are the energies for today, angels? What's going on for today, please? 22nd November 2021. Thank you. What are the energies for today, please? The strongest energy for today. Thank you. <clears throat> oh my God. Angel of love. Okay. So someone is in love here. Okay. Um, I'm seeing red flowers in the hair. I'm seeing... This is a heart, but it looks like a rose quartz, which I have here. Okay. So... The ro rose quartz crystal might be beneficial for you. All right, but this is the angel of love. The so someone is definitely in love with you. This could be you. This could be your person. Uh, something about beautiful brown honey colored hair. Flowers in your hair. Maybe you have recently posted a picture with flowers in your hair. There's something about rose quartz, definitely. So it might resonate for you. But okay, there, there are a lot of feelings today of love. We have Archangel Gabriel at the bottom of the deck. So Archangel Gabriel is, is an angel of communication, creativity. So someone is really desiring to communicate today because they're in love. Okay, we'll see. <clears throat> All right, what is going on today, please? What is going on today, please? Thank you. Okay, so temperance, Sagittarius energy. This could be the Sagittarius season. We are now in Sagittarius season today onwards. So this is related to Sagittarius season, which is still 21st of December. But temperance is reverse, is someone feeling quite out of balance. Okay. In the upright, this is a beautiful card which represents an angel. There's a rainbow in the background. She has a beautiful white dress on. One foot is on land, one foot is on water. So it's like testing the waters. How does it feel? So in the upright, this is about balance, but also about someone wanting to test the waters with you. But in the reverse, this is someone feeling very out of balance and they do not want to test the waters anymore because they know that they desire this love. So it's like no more testing the waters, no more playing games. I just want this, okay? I want to go ahead with this because it's making me crazy. I cannot hold back anymore. Okay. And this could very well be within this Sagittarius season that is still 21st of December. We have World Guard here. So someone is definitely watching you. If this is your person, they might be living at a distance from you. World card is Scorpio energy. So Scorpio Sagittarius cusp, maybe. 
but some in us at a distance and they are desiring to communicate online. The world card is also online communication for me, but this person watches you definitely. Let's see. What else, please? Thank you. What else for today? Nine of Cups in the reverse. So this is sadness. This is feeling emotional dissatisfaction, not able to come out of a cycle. This is a cycle of feeling sad and feeling, un, you know, a lot of imbalance in life. So someone is stuck. Nine of Cups in the upright is, you know, someone pouring all their wine, all their energy into one cup even when there are a lot of other cups around them because your person sees you as this one cup and they are desiring to pour all their love and energy into you because they see you as someone very abundant who can bring them a lot of happiness. There's a beautiful green silk dress here. There's a beautiful blue necklace. Again, flowers in the hair. So we have flowers in the hair twice. So something about flowers in your hair. A beautiful green dress. Beautiful. This is like a beautiful blue necklace with blue crystals. Okay. This might be Swarovski. This might be sapphires. This might be a blue necklace of some kind. Okay, but I'm, I'm really drawn to that necklace. Anyway, so yes, so this person already has options around them, but this is the one cup that they want to pour all their wine, all their energy into because they are sad. They feel imbalanced and they are stuck in this energy. Why? Because we have... The lovers at the bottom of the deck, this could be your twin flame or a very strong past life soulmate. Okay, we have an angel in the background and she has guided these two people to come back together. They are now face to face. Your person desires to be in a lover's connection with you. This is also about making a choice. All right, let's see. So we have Sagittarius energy, Gemini energy. Uh, with the world card, we had Scorpio energy. All right, let's see. What else for today, please? Thank you. Six of Cups. So they miss you terribly. This is, again, a past life soulmate connection. This is also about reunion but Six of Cups is a is a card of, you know, reminiscing. So this person is really missing you. They want to go back to, to the connection when it was, you know, all fun and laughter. We have two, two kids here, two children. So innocence, purity, laughter, okay, fun. That's what they miss. With the Six of Cups, it doesn't look like that this is a new person. It looks like someone you know from past. Okay, could be maybe you met this person or maybe you last spoke to this person six to nine months ago. Okay, for some of you. But they miss you terribly. Especially today. This reading is for today. They are missing you terribly. They are really imbalanced and sad without you. Okay. 919 on the clock, guys. What else for today, please? Thank you. The Fool. So this person's head is in the clouds. They are constantly fantasizing about you. They are constantly thinking about taking a leap of faith towards you. There's a cute little puppy here. So their heart is very lo loyal towards you, whether or not you are in communication. 
Whether you are together or in separation, it doesn't matter. But their heart is very loyal to you with the dog. This is also, they feel like this puppy love towards you. Okay, they get all flushed, red in their cheeks, honey glow in their cheeks when they think about you, when they fantasize about you. There's a beautiful white rose in this fool's hand. So the white white flowers are all about making peace, bringing back the purity. Again, with the Six of Cups, we have purity, going back to the fun and laughter, innocence and purity. So they want to make peace with you. Whatever went down in the past, they want to forget about that. They want to maybe apologize with this white flower. They want to bring peace back into the situation. But this is like, wow, Aries energy here. <sighs> okay, so let's see. Why do we have... Temperance in reverse, please. Thank you. Yeah. This is overwhelming, guys. This person is overwhelmed today with love and all this, all these feelings that they are feeling about you. Two of Pentacles in this deck in the reverse is feeling overwhelmed. This is about juggling your options, wanting a second chance, but in the reverse, it's like it's too much. They can't concentrate anywhere else. They're just this is this is overwhelming for them. Too much. <sighs> okay, all right. So why do we have the nine of cups in the reverse, please? Thank you. Nine of cups in the reverse. Yes, Seven of Swords. This person is really thinking about making a reappearance into your life, coming back. Seven of Swords in this deck. This person is a very witty person. They are really using their mind, their logic. You know, how can this work? How can I come back? How can I make a reappearance in my person's life? Yes, so this is definitely, so he, you know, he, his body is faced towards the left side and left side is all about the past. So this person really desires to come back into your life. This is not a new person, guys. And with the love, angel of love, we also, we also have the angel of love in the lover's card. This is this could very well be your twin flame. If not your twin flame, a very strong soulmate whom you've had past lives with. This is serious, guys. It, this is this connection is intense. Alright, six of cups. Six of cups, please. Why do we have the six of cups here? Thank you. Hmm. King of Wands, Sagittarius energy. Again, we have strong Sagittarius, guys. Okay, so something is going to happen in the Sagittarius season. That is like 21st of December. So around this time, within this time, something is about to happen. We'll see. We'll see the outcome. King of Wands. Extremely passionate about you, constantly thinking and strategizing to make their move. Okay, burning with passion for you. This king has his hand under his pants. So yeah, maybe he's playing with his own wand. <laughs> okay, but yes, definitely missing you and fantasizing sexually about you. I told you with that puppy... You know, that honey glow, that, that flushed feeling that they keep having about you. It's, it's overwhelming. They feel very imbalanced. They don't know what to do. <sighs> All right. Why do we have the fool here, please? Thank you. Why do we have the fool here? 
Oh, wow. <laughs> so Queen of Pentacles, yes. Queen of Pentacles. This is just energy, guys, okay? It's not gender specific. Um, I'm just telling you what I see in the cards. Okay, so we, again, we have something about a necklace here. We had a blue necklace. We have a green necklace now, okay? But we also had blue and green <clears throat> in this woman's dress. So there's something definitely about a green dress. It, it, it's most probably a satin or, or a green silk dress. <clears throat> Maybe you are planning to buy one. Maybe you have bought a green dress recently. Maybe you've posted some pictures on your social media in something in a green outfit. 15.51 on the clock, guys. But yes, they are really, they see you as, as a perfect wife material. Queen of Pentacles is... Is a beautiful queen. She's very nurturing. She's very grounded. She she's she does very well for herself. She's financially stable. She's very loyal. Again, with the dog. They they really desire for you to become their wife or their spouse. She's very loving. Also, see how these red roses are blooming in the background. So yes, she has a lot of love to offer. And this person is a fool for you. Okay, this person is a fool for you in love. Because they, you know, I'm just getting something about, you know, when you're in love, you have that stupid smile on your face all the time. You just keep smiling without any reason. So that's what I'm getting. This person thinks about you and they're just smiling and, and you know, there's that glow, there, that, that flush in their cheeks when they think about you and somebody maybe just spots them and, you know, they're just like, hey, what's up with you? What's that stupid smile? And they're like, oh, no, nothing. Okay, so something like that. But yes, they see you as their perfect spouse. We have the Emperor, again, Aries energy. So this is a husband. This is someone who has authority, maybe at home, maybe at their workplace. But this Emperor is also looking back to the to these kids here, children. So again, they, they really desire to go back to the fun times. When, whenever you were speaking in the past, when you were laughing together, there was flirting, there was innocence, purity, laughter, okay? It was it was a it was a pure connection. There was nobody felt like there were games. It was just pure. This person really looks back to that time and today especially they're really reminiscing on that moment that you shared together. With the mountains in the background, <clears throat> they, they feel really protective of you, okay? They really want to be there for you. They're feeling very protective over you. But this emperor has all this, you know, this armor on, the, on his body. So it's like they are, they are scared to open up. Okay, they're trying to protect themselves as well all this with all this armor on the body okay so something about not being able to open up completely but man they're missing you today wow <clears throat> all right so we have aries and sagittarius energy strongly here all right anything else Wow. <laughs> Page of Wands. <clears throat> so with the ginger cat here, it's like they want to share a good news with you. Maybe they themselves want to speak up. Okay. So something about sharing a, a good news with you. Speaking up. They feel like a little boy in love. You know, I told you, feeling feeling like a fool in love with that stupid smile on their face all the time. All 
right, let's see. What is the outcome, please? What is the outcome of this reading? Thank you. What is the outcome of this reading, please? Wow. <laughs> okay, so this is you. And there are a lot of flowers in the background with a castle. So this is like, they see you being appreciated by so many other people. Flowers are also symbolic of appreciation. Okay, so, so now maybe after this period of separation, of non-communication, as I told you with the world card, they see you, okay? They, they follow your social media. So they see you that there are other people who really appreciate you. You are very well acknowledged. You are respected. Okay. But they now know that you are deserving of all the things, all the good things, the best things in, in life. Maybe they did not appreciate you in the past. Maybe they did not recognize your worth in the past. But after the separation, because we do have the Six of Cups, okay, so they miss you. And this might, this might very, well be, very well be because you two are not in communication or in contact with each other, physical contact. So after this period of separation, of non-communication, they are definitely recognizing your worth. They see how appreciated and acknowledged you are. Okay, there's a castle in the background. <laughs> so it's like they see you as this queen, the queen of pentacles. She lives in a castle, okay, there, there are a lot of double two, double two on the clock, guys. So there are a lot of things this queen could be, you know, very proud of. She can show off a lot, but it's like she chooses to be humble, to stay on the ground, to keep herself grounded. There are flowers surrounding her. So she's not only very well you know, very stable materialistically or physically, but she's also very well connected to her surroundings, to the nature. She is spiritual. Okay, so there's a balance. We have birds in the sky. So again, with that bird's view, what I was channeling, she, she is someone who sees things from a higher perspective. And this person now realizes that, that she is balanced, she is stable, she is deserving of all the best things in life. This person is in love with you and they are craving you, missing you terribly. Terribly, I mean. So their intention is to take steps towards you, okay? You are also being guided to take steps towards whatever makes you happy, whatever helps you grow, okay? Maybe in your work, maybe spiritually or personally, whatever is helping you grow. You are being asked to take steps because you are deserving. Keep a consciousness of gratitude, keep a positive mindset that whatever you set your mind to, you are very well capable to achieve it with ease. Okay, so that is a guidance for you as well, guys. Okay, just go for it. Don't wait. Don't wait for a right time. Okay, don't play it safe. Just go for it. Take steps towards your goals, your destiny, your growth. And if this is your person, they see that you are very deserving. You are this queen of pentacles for them and they intend to take steps forward now. That is their intention. 
All right, let's just see. Any messages from this person, please? You're being watched by loving eyes. What did I tell you? <laughs> this person watches you. Okay, and that's how they know that, you know, now they know that you are deserving. You are this queen of pentacles. You are being watched by loving eyes. Yep. Okay, not that one. Anything else, please? Thank you. All there is to love has been there all along. That's what this person realizes now. They always knew that this connection was different. They might have felt an intense fall towards you. But then again, okay, they thought, you know, that it's just attraction or maybe lust whatever and they might have pulled back but yeah <laughs> now they realize all there is to love has been there all along okay one last card <laughs> just one last card please thank you okay that didn't, that one didn't want to come They chose you <laughs> with that lover's card. Yes, I told you they had to make a choice and I feel that they have chosen you and they intend to take steps forward now. Beautiful energy. This is exciting. Wow. <laughs> okay, so that was our reading, guys, for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped you in some way and sending you lots of love and light. Take care. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.